Now, if you do this, and if you get an answer greater than 9 joules, you did something wrong. Okay? That's one way of just like a, a alarm bell should be ringing at that point. 6 times 0.5 squared plus 0.5 times 14.683 times 0.31 squared. 2.21 joules. Okay, so kinetic energy is lost. So percent loss nine minus two point two one over nine. Seventy five point five percent loss, huh? Is that more or less loss than if the object had hit the ruler at the center? Let's say the same object, same velocity, had hit the ruler right at its center. What would have happened? What would the final kinetic energy be? You would hit it right at the center, and the thing won't rotate. It'll just go. How fast would it go? Well, same 0.5. That, that one doesn't change. OK? So the kinetic energy final will be just this part without that. You see? So it'll be uh, 6 times uh, 0.5 squared, 1.5 joules. Now the percent loss of energy will be more or less? More, right? So if you hit something at its center, since you don't make it rotate, your energy is more lost. If you hit it at the, at the top edge, it's better. You make it rotate at least, you know? So uh, the less energy is lost. Um, now, another question that I, I could ask here, and I think I asked this question on the review questions too, uh, we'll finish with this one here, is I say, what is the total velocity at the top point of the ruler after the collision? And is that more like car in rain or car in snow? Oh, okay. In other words, is this thing spinning more or is it translating more? It depends where you hit it again. If you hit it at the center, there will be no spin all translation. You, if you hit it at the top point, there'll be more spin and there'll be less translation relatively, you see. So what's the total velocity at the top point here? So remember, it's spinning around its new center of mass. So the whole object is moving forward at the V center of mass prime. So that's 0.5 meters per second. And on top of that, that point has a tangential velocity equals to r omega, right? The tangential velocity at all points of the rod is always equal to its distance from the center of where it's rotating times the omega, right? So the, the tangential velocity at the top point is equal to the r is the this distance from the top point to the point that is rotating. So what's that distance? 
Well, the whole ruler was uh, four meters long, right? So the distance from the top to here is going to be two meters minus 0.15, right? The distance, the half the length of the ruler is two. So two minus 0.15, that's uh, uh, 1.85. So the r, the r is the distance from the tip to the, the new center of mass. So that's 1.85 times omega final, which is uh, And now we can answer the question. Is it translating more or is it rotating more? Okay. The tangential velocity at the tip is 0.57. The whole thing is moving forward at 0.5. So is the translation more or the, I mean, is the uh, rotation more or is the translation more? This one is bigger than that. So this is more like a uh, car in um, snow, OK? Uh, rotation is more than translation. Or another way to say this is to calculate the total velocity, v total is the sum of the two, 0.5 plus 0.57, add the two, right, at the top point, and you get what? Uh, 1.0735. If this one is more than double the V center of mass, then it's like car in snow. It's spinning more than translation. So uh, V center of mass is uh, 0.5, double 0.5 is 1. So since 1.0735 is greater than 1, it's more like car and snow. It's almost, uh, it's almost the same, right? In other words, if this ball had hit the ruler a little bit down, it would have been exactly like pure rolling motion, you see? So if, if it had hit the ruler a little bit closer to the center of mass, it would have been pure rolling motion. If it had hit at the center of mass, it would be pure translation. If it had hit more at the tip, it would be a lot more rotation, you see? So that's the idea there. Okay, I think let's stop there. Next time that we'll, we'll do chapter 11, we'll do uh, the elastic version of this, the elastic collision. This was an inelastic collision, okay?